Hey guys, welcome to another episode of the shop. Today we're continuing on my dirty boat right here and gonna figure this out. Uh, so far, we've changed the oil, we've changed the uh, foot oil, we have uh, went through the fueling system, and now we are just basically putting it back together, getting it ready to clean. Uh, there's a couple things we gotta do. This top was broken, I gotta put it back on. Gotta clean all this stuff out, so you gotta go wash it and uh, hook up our Hawkeye. And what better gift to give a loved one than the Jackhawk 9000, available at Walmart. So, we've got a uh, depth finder that is partial hooked up. Oh, and then we got a radio to put in. So this is what I got for a depth finder. I have not filmed anything on it, but here's partial of the install. And there's my dog hiding out up under the boat. <laughs> His name's Hank. He's a he's a big boy. But yep, so it's in here, it's ready to go. It's already cabled up all the way through, siliconed, and now I just have to take the gauge and install the gauge up there. And I'm trying to figure out where I want to install the gauge because uh I'm kind of out of options really. Uh got one little gauge pod right next to the steering wheel if you see it up under there with a hole in it that was actually going to be my dual battery uh, voltmeter but I think this might go there or it might go somewhere else I don't know that is something to be determined once I get everything in order if I can open this box I can't open the box hold on there we go so here's my gauge right here. It's dirty. I'm gonna clean it up because it's been sitting here for a while. Tossed around for about a year. So I've already got that in the boat ready to go. I just need to hook up some power and that's it. So the power is just gonna be ignitioned on and off so that anytime the boat is on or running, I can use it because I don't want it to just be on for no reason and wear my battery out. So we've got to figure that out and uh, I've got quite a lot of wire and stuff, which is gonna come into play later, because uh, I still have some cheap speakers right here, a cheap radio to go along with it. Boom, radio. It's Bluetooth, so it works. Got some speaker wire right here, and uh, then got a bunch of wiring right here, which I do have some uh, distribution blocks for power because of all the different things, has power, I don't want to run a wire to the battery every single time, so I'm going to run uh, a power and ground from the back of the boat, and either I'm going to have one over there probably for this battery, and then I'm going to have a second one over here for this battery, and I'm going to make it simple for myself and place it all up underneath there, so if I ever need anything, I just crawl up underneath and look under there and fix that. Uh, yeah, I've got a mess right now. It's been just sitting out, being worked on, not being worked on. And, uh, yeah. So, I'm going to get to this, putting the engine uh, compartment back together. We're going to run it for a little bit and see how that goes. And uh, start installing uh, the Hawkeye 9000. I don't know, it's not a 9000, it's something else. I just find it funny, like Ricky Bobby. Jackknife. Oh, yep, it's the depth tracks 2B. So, I wanted a through hole, but I didn't get it. I got that. You can always send the, the transducer back and get a through hole transducer, but I did not do that. Oh, well, whatever. It is what it is. So, I'm going to get some tools and get back out here. Uh. All right, well, seeing this is part two of uh, maintenance and uh, kind of some upgrades to the boat, we are uh, looking at a 2000, or excuse me, a 1996, it's not 2000, 1996 uh, Manta Ray. It's a 18 foot uh, with a Merc Cruiser 4.3. So, yeah, this is just like a uh, GM, like it says right there. And uh, got a two barrel carb, a uh, little V6, 4.3 liters. Uh, yeah. So 
in the last episode we uh redid the fueling system we put new uh a new fuel pump on it we put new spark plug wires on it we put new spark plugs in it and uh between the videos i changed the uh oil and so yeah if you need anything or have a question about any of that it's in the link in the description below but what I told y'all a minute ago was I ran this wire and I just had to finish running this wire. It's kind of just sitting here because I just got it all the way to the front and left it. Uh, I got a jumbled mess back here. I don't like it. I don't like all this stuff right here. I might get some wire loom and make it pretty so I don't have to deal with that anymore. Uh, I do need a actual battery box back here for the battery. But looking at everything, everything goes. Yeah, I, I would like to clean up that wire in a little bit, make it prettier, and maybe even some of this be able to hang if I can stretch it out enough. It's catching on different things, so we'll figure that out. But we're going to clean up this boat, and uh, we're going to put everything back in there. And now I've got to figure out where I want to put my depth finder. So I'm just going to go ahead and put my radio back here. I was going to put it on that side, but I'm probably just going to put it back here. And my depth finder, I think, may go right here. So, or, yeah, I don't know. It's pretty big, so it may or may not fit right here. Which, if it doesn't, I'll have to move one. And if I move one, I'd prefer to move the trim, because it doesn't work. But... I don't know if the gauge will fit up there, so I had to figure that out too. Yeah, that would be pretty sweet to put it right there. Alright, well, let's get to moving stuff out of my way. And, uh, kind of cleaning this stuff up and putting all these panels back, back here where they go. And we'll sort through wires as we do that. Um, we'll probably just pull this panel out, sort through the wires real quick, and then start putting everything back in to make it pretty and quick and nice and easy. So, yeah, let me get to this real quick. back together clean uh, getting life jackets in make sure you always have enough life jackets I always like to have uh, two extra even if I don't have that many people ever on the boat I like to have almost eight I think this seats six or something like that so I always have kids and I always have adults because when you get pulled over they uh, they don't like that whenever you don't have them because you end up with a fine so yeah, make sure you always have enough. So, uh, back to it. Uh. All right, well, moved the trim gauge right there. And then got my uh, Hawkeye 9000 right there. And uh, it looks good. It's all wired up. I don't have my key right now, but, uh, yeah. I did hook it up to power accidentally, and it did beep and go off. And now I need to get the key. So I need to crank this thing up and uh, run it for a little bit. But, uh yeah so everything's hooked back up the way it's supposed to be like i said i gotta put that back there close that up done with that clean out the rest of the boat and then start looking at my top my bimini top that i decided to break and uh yeah you know, it should be good to go other than cleaning this thing just needs a quick swift clean so we're almost there back to it well we are getting done with cleaning the boat. It's been vacuumed, everything else. I did hook up, oh, my Hawkeye, but for some odd reason, it is not getting power. So I gotta play with the wires real quick. Hopefully I didn't blow a fuse. Uh, but yep, it could just be the wiring to it. Uh, 
So I'm gonna take a look at that real quick. Uh, I did find out why my boat's been misfiring a lot and it's been misfiring because the coil was bad. So I have this MSD2 blaster from about 20 years ago right there that uh, I changed it out uh, with the other one and now it runs like a top. It's uh, running better than I've ever heard it. So if you ever have a misfire issue, go ahead and just throw that in there. So yeah, I'm gonna get to finishing and cleaning because uh, as you see, that's nasty. And we're gonna fix this Hawkeye and uh, make it work because I wanna take this boat out this weekend. So. All right, ignition on. On, look at that. It works. Yes. Yes. So, good stuff done. Now I just gotta finish cleaning. It's gonna be quick. I'm not gonna waste all day on this. Well, let's do it. Well, we had that little rod. We've actually taken it out twice since. Uh, yeah, she's, uh, she's doing fantastic. So I uh, found out that full throttle now, she does start breaking up a bit, but uh, it's okay, because we throttle down and we're still doing almost, uh, I don't know, 40 miles an hour, which is beyond what it was doing whenever uh, I first got it. So we're doing good. So, hopefully this helped you out and uh, made everything to where if you had something you needed to fix, it's fixed. So, put this ladder right there. But, I want to thank you for joining in to another episode of The Shop. And if you have any questions or any inquiry, hit me up in the comments below. Any questions about what I used in this video or my other videos with the boat, should be in the link in the descriptions below. But, until next time.